Hello everyone, I'm JB and I was joking around on the creator today and I came up with this idea to make curbs I saw somebody asked it But they, these are like the race curbs, not like the pavement curbs we all know too well In order to create this you need ramps And you start by placing your first ramp on the apex of the corner uh, You see me place it here but it's actually placed wrong, it needs to be more to the center of the corner. And then you want to go ahead and switch to machinery. There will be, the first prop is an electric box and because it's way smaller you can fit it way easier. Then you just switch back to your ramp. Look how you want to place it, you won't be able to place it. But then you just switch back to machinery, to the electric box, which you will be able to place. And then if you use this little trick that uh, Fachiro uh, told me, you can place it however you want, it's a uh, lag trick, I don't know if they will ever patch it, I hope not. And so this way you can like place them, the ramps inside of each other, and so you can make like, these really awesome curbs. You can use this for a lot of things, I use it a lot to uh, make barriers flow into each other seamlessly, but also to place like uh, barriers inside of lampposts, you won't be able to hit them. I think if you like be a little bit creative, you can do a lot of things with it, and this is one example of them. In order to place these uh, like props, you have to quickly switch using like the right arrow and then press X. It's it's really happening really quick, and it takes a lot of time and effort, but you get the hang of it. Look, now I have placed the first barrier. I just have to place the second barrier. I see it's placed a little bit far back. You can see it's not really 100% like pristine and clean, but when you're racing over it, it, you barely notice it, and you only get the feeling of like the ramp angle. So I decided to do some tests. Um, how much this curb system affects your like lap times. I made this track, it's basically a straight, one corner and another straight, but uh, and it's almost all flat, so there's no variation. And all the variation just comes from how I take the corner and the lines. Uh, I tried to make the breaking points the same. Uh, in the first test I did 2579, this is actually the fastest. This is just sticking to the road. Then the second test is taking the curbs ever so slightly, just taking that apex a little bit better. But I end up getting a time it's almost the same, but I did run over a little bit wide, so I would say it's about the same. Like you lose a little bit of traction going over the curb, and because you're on two wheels for a, like a small time, but it makes almost no difference. It could have been. If I take the corner a little bit different, I could have gotten a better time. In this last clip, I went really wide over the uh, curves, but I lose a lot of time, like half a second. But in other races, there would have been like an apex barrier, which have co would have cost you your race and sent you flying over the track, or just straight up choking you. So I think curves are better than normal ramps, but I. I think it's pretty hard to place them everywhere. I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.